Hi guys, Wandersun here. This is the last interface video of our application where we will have the first homework and in the next video we will start to learn about the Python backend. Before we start don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. To create the pages of our application we will use a component called StackView. Let's start by dragging into the rectangle and applying anchor as a fill. For this component to work we need to create our pages first, which will be home page and settings page. Now let's start creating our pages, right click on the pages folder and add a new file called home page as shown in the video. Start by changing the display width to 800 and I also create a new rectangle and will be responsible for the background color of the page. We will put any color in this rectangle, in the course of the video we will change that color. Create a label, change the font size, and always align the center of the screen both horizontally and vertically as shown in the video. After that is done we can copy the entire script that was generated and paste it in a new file that will be our other page. I will create a new page called settings page and paste this script that we just copied earlier. After change the label text to settings page and also the display width to 800. Put a different background color and change the text color to white. After that is done we have our two pages created and I will teach you how to import these pages in our application. We will use the parameter called initial item and use the Qt resolve URL function to import the home page as the main page for the application. Put the relative address of the home page to the main QML window and run the application to test if everything went correctly. Now let's create a function for when the settings button is clicked it will load the settings page. But before we add an identification for each button as shown in the video, this identification is important to apply the function of selecting the button after clicked. Now we can go back to the settings button and say that when that button is clicked the home button will have its is active menu attribute as false and our settings button will have his active menu as true. This will select the button. To load the to load the settings page we put the component id stack view followed by the push function. This function will load the page after clicked. Use the Qt resolve URL just as we did to call the home page. See that an error occurred, that's because I typed the wrong page name. Let's rename the address of this page and run our application again. See that it is now working properly. We can copy this function that we just created and paste it into the home button just by changing the parameters to select the home button and deselect the settings button, and we also change the page address to our home page.
We see that now the two buttons are working correctly, but we need to modify our rectangle content pages so that when the pages are changed it does not exceed the limit area. We will use the clip function to prevent this from happening. Done that we have the page transitions happening correctly. I'll use the color picker to copy the color of the content pages rectangle and paste that color as a background color to the pages we created earlier. When we run our application we will be able to see this function in action working correctly. Note that when the Home and Settings button is clicked, the button is selected correctly. I am going to teach you now how to use another function to load pages within Qt Quick which is using the loader component. I will comment on the stack view code we created earlier, and create a component called Loader. This component is responsible for loading other pages or components without that animation that exists in stack view. Unlike stack view we use the source parameter to load the page, but we use the Qt resolve URL just like stack view. When running the application we can see that the page loaded correctly but we need to change the functions of the buttons because we will use another command to call the pages. We will use the pages view ID and the set source function to change the pages. We will also do this for the home button and run the application to see this component in action. Another advantage of using the loader is that we can load the pages when the application is started and just change the visibility, always when we click on the home and settings buttons the page is loaded again, and we lose all the information that was previously changed, with that changing only the visibility, the pages will always have the same information, and on the buttons, just set the visible function to true or false. I will delete the loader's components because in this course we will continue using the stack view component. Delete the loader's created and reset the functions of the home and settings buttons to work with stack view as shown in the video. This done we have the pagination of our application done successfully. But now we go to our first homework. After all the previous videos we have the basics of how the components work in Qt Quick. I want you to create the components as shown in the video on the home page. I did a little time lapse showing the creation process and I want you to do the same. This process is very important to start learning how the Python backend will work. See how the text view component was created and do the same in your application. The same process was done for the blue button of which we learned how to create in the classroom. Repeat this whole process at home so that we can continue the course. 
Then we finished the first part of the course on how to create the interface. In the next video we will start the programming part using Python backend. Thanks to all Patreon supporters. See you in the next video.